Hey everybody, I'm Crow, and welcome back to Dark Souls Remastered, the bow only run. We're gonna beat Sif today, but we're also gonna do the one thing that no Dark Souls player should ever do. I kindled the bonfire, cause why not? And then, that's why. So, we're going to run through the PvP area and just pray that, that the PvP area does not PvP us, because if it is, then we're dead. All we have to lose is 10,000 souls, and time. So I'm going to run through here, and we are going to run frantically to Sif. Straight to Sif, and only Sif, because there's nothing in this area we need anyway. There is an enchanted ember for when you want to have a high intelligence and do lots of physical damage. I don't have a high intelligence, and I already do physical damage. Is it over there? It's in one of these, like, pools of water around here. I think we made it through the PvP area. Well, let me just try and find it. While it is wholly useless, it's also loot in a chest. Ow! My face. These mushroom people are strong. Enchanted Ember. There it is. I knew it was in a lake somewhere. I thought it was just sitting in the lake. Apparently it's actually in a chest. They got money because they're fancy. Why is this my life? I shouldn't have grabbed the Ember. We should have just run for it. Now I can't run. Oh, they're on the bridge too. Thank you? Thank you? Why did you return home? I don't know, but I think there's a cooldown on getting invaded, so I think we're pretty okay, dude. I don't know why John Cone just showed up to wreck my life and then left. But the gates are open. So yeah, the 20,000 soul crest of Artorius thing, huge shortcut. There are these weird floppy rolly bear things that just like go tumbling at you making weird cat bear noise things. Uh, yeah, they're, they're very easily leashable, but, uh, not fun to deal with if you fight them properly. Oh, look, it's a thumbnail. Doggo! If you do the DLC first, then this is different. Roll, roll. Okay, am I just gonna have to, like, not lock on for this? Because I don't think that we want to be far away from Sif. But I also don't know that locking on is going to help much. That double spin will kill you. I think even if you're in Havels, if they get the double hit off... You're so big, how are you dodging? Okay. What what even just happened? What was that? Where did my arrow go? Where did the dog go? Thank you for being a giant target. Why are you backing up like this? I've never seen you do this before. I have a bow. I come at you with an ultra great sword. And you're just like, lol, what are you going to do to me? I walk at you with a ranged weapon. And you flee? What is this? Also, how does that only do that much damage? I have 20 heals, so I'm going to use them pretty crazily. Should I just be backing up? Dude, it's looking like I just want to back up after every swing. It also looks like I should have shot faster there, but the game didn't want to let me shoot faster there. Dude, is this secretly easy? I just bait and attack like other enemies. This is just like regular mobs. You wait for them to attack. You get the heck out. And then you shoot them once before they put their shield back up. But the dog does not have a shield. Holy cow, this is... Oh no. Oh no. Guess I'll have to roll. 
Oh no. Oh, it's so sad because he gets all tired. I'm like, oh, you're such a good doggo. I hate that I have to kill you. Oh, I've got to put the ring on. Maximum doggo souls. 48,000 instead of 40,000. This is actually the one exception. If you watch my Dark Souls original one, where I used this Vihander, you'll see that you can actually fight Sif at the beginning of the game. Like, there was nothing stopping us. There was no golden wall like the other bosses that prevents you from getting over here. So, you could fight Sif first. Honestly, if you really routed it oddly, I think you could fight Sif before any other boss in the game. You could skip the Taurus Demon. You could skip the Capra Demon. And you could come straight here. All you need to do is get to the Undead Parish. So if, instead of going to fight the Taurus Demon, you went down the tower to where Havel is, and then went out into the Dark Root Garden, you could get straight over here. 20,000 souls if you grind that up in the area before the Moonlight Butterfly or something. I don't have a Homeward Bone, do I? Wait, did it give me a Homeward Bone? Fantastic. I was like, I don't have a way to get out of here. Why is this so dark? Oh, right, because, you know, eternal nighttime and there's no light over here for some reason. I've never seen this before. This is super dark because I never kill Guinevere. Ridiculously easy with a bow, though. I think that might actually be the absolute easiest way to beat Sif. Unless you're doing the, like, red tear stone ring, ultra great sword power within whatever one shot thing. Where you stack every possible, like, buff to damage. What is this pig doing? And you just run up and one-shot him. Aside from that, I'm pretty sure that's the easiest. Because it's just like, I'm going to shoot you in the face. I'm going to shoot you in the face. Up, oh, I win. We're still human. We even got through the PvP area. Hello, pig. So, this pig can be cheesed. by Because it, it can't leave this hallway. That's how it can be chased. This pig as well, but this pig will leash before it gets to the end of the other hallway. So it's not as exploitable. Not as as exploitable. English is hard. I can't light the bonfire because the pig's mad at me. So I'm going to wait in here, and that pig's going to wish that he could get me. But it can't. I'm also invisible. Are you really going to tell me I gotta kill the pig? So, we got the ring that we needed. The Covenant of Artorius will allow us to traverse the Abyss, which is absolutely required 100% for the Four Kings. You have to wear this ring or you cannot fight them. Wait. Poison arrows. Can you be poisoned? So, we are all set up to fight the Four Kings. Problem being is, I kind of want to do a boss fight every episode... Great, you're poison. And, uh... Wow, this is even easier. Dude, we're finding all the strats today. This is even easier and faster than the other one. Basically, the Seath area is way too long anyway, and there's no bosses in it. So, I figured since we absolutely obliterated Sif instantly... That, uh, we'll start making progress in this zone. And then depending upon how far we get, maybe we'll just do Seath next? I don't know how we're going to balance this. I was thinking to just go to Four Kings next. But... Oh, dude, this is prime opportunity since I'm still here. I can, I can kindle the heck out of this bonfire. And we have exactly three. You're taking me out of menus. I don't know why the game does that. I mean, I know what triggers it, using an item does, but still. So, if you are human, you can kindle bonfires, and at the expense of one humanity, you can increase the number of S's that you get from it by one. Or by five. In increments of five. You could do it three times. So it goes five, ten, fifteen, twenty. With twenty being the maximum amount, these stay kindled, I believe, even on New Game Plus forever. All the way up through New Game Plus Infinity. It stopped scaling at New Game Plus 7, I believe. Or was it 6? I think it's 7. The game stops getting harder at plus 7. And you stop getting more souls and stuff. 
but uh, you could eventually kindle every bonfire in the game reasonably. In fact, if you don't do the Daughters of Chaos stuff, you could do it pretty easily because we had to waste 30 humanity on that, and that is a lot of fully kindled bonfires. But uh, they're usually just a few big ones. That, I believe, has what we... Ow! Ow! Oh, that's right, you guys have shields! This is going to suck, like, really bad. I forgot. Don't put your shield up, please. Thank you. Okay, you know what? If they keep their sheeps... Th their sheeps, their shields down, it'll be fine. Well, if I was talking about something, it's gone forever. Anyway. Apparently bows are the greatest and I can hit them from here. I didn't think about that. But then I did. Because when I was getting distracted before, I noticed, because it was the only real movement on the screen, that the dude was shooting stuff at me. Then I quit out of the game and just got back into the game because I didn't want to get invaded while I was AFK. Once again, ultimate ring is ultimate. And I have a sword in my face. I love that they are at height to take the arrows to the face. This next area, it is going to suck. Which is why I was thinking about doing it last. But now I don't know because pacing is really weird. I think we're just going to do the thing. Get destroyed. Seed's place is by far the longest. Like, Lost Isolith and the Tomb of the Giants, New Londo, doesn't have anything on how long this place is. And we can skip a fair bit of it. Kind of? I think that's actually the thing, is like, there's not really much to skip here. It's a very long path. Regardless, if I am not mistaken, this golem is ordinarily not here. Wow, you take a lot of damage. And I'm not about to find out if I take a lot of damage. Swing at me. Swing at me, I dare you. Haha. -ha. I'm in danger. Nope, I found the hole. Are we on the lift? No, I wasn't even back in the lift. I was like, I thought I was going to be backed up into this wall right here and things were going to be bad. I didn't get a necklace. I don't know what I did wrong. Did I get a necklace and just click off and didn't notice? I don't think we got the thing. Maybe I need to talk to Dusk first. I don't think I got the thing. We are not prepared to do the DLC. Might have to look that up later. Later. Regardless, killing this thing is usually what gets you into the DLC. You gotta get half a pendant. I'm not fighting these things. Do I have a Ring of Sacrifice? We haven't used that yet, have we? I think we did. Dang. Okay. This changes everything. I gotta level up first. So anyway, we have way more health now. Because we are level 75. I used every soul we have, and then I was a little bit short for one extra level up, and I wanted to use as much as efficiently as possible, so I got the extra 2,000 souls, and we got that level up as well. We now have a billion and a half health, and that's pretty cool. Yes, I know I said that, like, the one Estus before was a full heal, and that was amazing and whatever, but... Honestly, I would rather just be able to get hit twice and not die instead of get hit once and then be like, Oh my god, where's the Estus at? So, uh... How are you already dancing? I'm, like, super mega beyond invisible, and you're already prepared for me to be here? I don't buy it. Doing your channeler dance, making everyone stronger. If I'm going to die anyway, then all of this is inconsequential. Because I can't do the super mega tight whatever frame jump thing. So like, this elevator here can save your life. If you get it up and then get it to go down or something and you jump off the elevator at the right level, these levels here are like the end part of this. Like, you could skip most of Seat's place if you could jump out of the elevator there. I never really got that down. Because the few times that I did manage to get off the side of the elevator, 
I went straight into my untimely demise. And at that point, I would have been better off just dying here, so why does it matter? What? He rolled! I wasn't expecting that at all. I'm gonna get hit. Or not, you're gonna roll. And because you're rolling and you have the fat roll, you have minimum iframes, which means I can actually hit you when you're on the ground. Fantastic. I think that knight is the only one of his kind. You can buy his armor from, uh... What's that dude? Unpronounceable from Good Deal Trades. Yeah, he's under the bridge. Oh well, yes, hello, Crystal Lizard. I do get two Twinkling Titanite for defeating you. There's going to be a bunch of Crystal Lizards in this area, because it's the Crystal area. We're not going to be able to kill them all. Because that would require running through here multiple times. Ah, oh, the 3,000 souls is going to get wasted. So, you find Seek the Scaleless. By the way, I don't know if you guys know this. You can leave. This is the one boss fight that you could go back to this and just be like, you know what, dude? Not today. And the reason for that is because Seath is an immortal god. But literally, you see the 152 damage we're doing? It's chunking them. Oh, I didn't let the damage kill me. I let the curse kill me. Do I have a way to break curses? This could actually be... With ball curse, your HP is halved. Dude, do I have a purging stone? That might have been really dumb. Well... I'm glad we have a million health, because now we have not a million health. Half HP puts us at 596, which is like how much we had when we started the game. Fantastic. Anyway, it's lit. At least it doesn't nerf our damage. But Seath is an immortal dragon, and you gotta you gotta exploit his weakness so that he could be not immortal. Because no matter how much damage you do, he just instantly regenerates it. And it's it's kind of hard to kill someone when they instantly regenerate. Unless you can kill them in one hit, which I don't think it's possible to kill Seath in one hit there. I could be wrong, but all of the, like, damage stacking things... Like, I don't know that that correlates very well to ranged weapons, and I don't think that a single arrow could do it. Like, I'm sure an Ultra's Vihand or whatever Bob could one-shot Seath, because all the bosses in the game are one-shot. Did you just jump down behind me? What was that? Am I crazy? What just happened? I didn't even see what just happened, but I think one of them had a key. Never mind, I'm crazy, it's this guy. What? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um... Uh-oh. Oh, God. Tell me that I can hit this guy. Let me make lots of noise. Can I pickpocket him? Normally you just... Oh. Can I, can I shimmy you? Alright, so... I think the only way to have done this is to have skipped this whole dying and getting captured sequence. Because bows cannot hit through walls at all, and it's intended that you smack him through a wall. The arrow cannot penetrate the wall because if you can see, the invisible wall is keeping me away from it. It is way thicker than these bars. So I can't actually shoot between them. And no amount of making noise over here is actually going to alert the snake. It is always asleep because it needs to be in that position so that you can kill it. So I'm going to punch it, and you're going to see that it does two damage. This guy actually has one health, because he is supposed to die so that you can get the key to get out of here. A bow cannot do that. I know from watching, like... What's his name? 
Yimfa or something? And other people? That you can skip this whole sequence? But I think unless you do some kind of like in the corner clip whatever to get out of here, without glitches you're not going to get out of here. Because you cannot alert him. He has one health and he's just supposed to stand here until you hit him. But you can't hit him with the bow. So I guess that's going to be the one exception to bow only. I'm only fighting enemies with the bow. He wasn't an enemy, an enemy, I'm going to treat him as a treasure chest. Because he had one health and he can't fight back and he has no AI. So I'm going to say that that does not qualify as an enemy. And we did the thing. Regardless. They noticed that we did the thing. Somehow, despite being on the bottom and having no way of knowing that we are out of our cage. Which means stuff's about to hit the fan. Hitting the fan being relative, of course, because, uh... Like, oh no, all these people are running and they're coming up here and they're, they're, they're doing stuff and it's real menacing because they're going to start coming up the stairs. Oh no. I guess I'll have to sit at the bonfire. And then they, uh... Oh no, they're still coming up. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure they don't start coming up. That's usually because I've already turned it off already. Alright, I was, I was wrong. They will still be coming up here, but, uh, I'm kind of still basically invisible. And these enemies are not difficult to fight with a bow, from what I remember. So, next time, we are going to bust out of prison. And maybe take out Seath? I'm already here anyway, dude. I don't know what I was planning. I didn't think Sif was going to go down that fast. I did not think we were going to be here. But apparently Sif super easy mode just use a bow. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.